Hello, everybody, and welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Adam Carberg from Go Markets, and today we are going to be having a look at the Euro AUD currency pair. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the weekly chart just firstly to give us a bit of a more of a background on where this stock has been heading as of recent times. So, what we can see is that over the uh, early um, 2022, we've obviously had this dip um, and this constant selling, and this has largely been due to, of course, the Russia and Ukraine crisis, which has caused a lot of pressure on the euro. And what we can do is we can see that we've been able to bounce off the 145 level, and that's been quite important for us. So we're just going to put that one in there. We'll put that at 145, and that's obviously been quite a significant support. And prior to that, we can see that, you know, we've really been ranging um, outside of the COVID years, we've really been ranging between this 1.67 and, you know, this kind of 1.52 level here. So that's really our long term range over the past four years or so outside of COVID and this recent crisis. Now, of course, there are other pressures existing as well, um, and these things include inflationary pressures that have obviously built up over um, over the last couple of years. And a commodity currency such as the AUD has, has actually been quite a strong performer. So this also adds to the weakness um, of the Euro AUD currency pair of recent times. As we look out and we move into the um, into the daily chart. What we can see is that we've actually started not just to see this bounce, but a potential reversal occurring. So as we stated previously, we saw this bounce off the 145 level and potentially a move back into the range. So as we can see, we've got this almost inverse head and shoulders pattern just forming um, about here. So what we're really waiting to wanting to see is this break of the one. 0.531 range, um, or rather resistance level, before we move back into the range. So what we can try and add in is a potential long opportunity. Um, you know, once we do break through that um, that kind of that strong resistance level, you know, potentially put that support just below the um, that prior our stop loss just below that prior um, break at the at the neckline. And then we've got a quite a good risk reward ratio here. But the first thing we want to do is we do want to see quite a strong break of this kind of 153, 150, call it 153, 150 level um, before potentially moving on back into that range. Anyways, that concludes our trading session. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.